Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome in to NWA episode 2. It promises to be yet another fantastic episode as we run through some of the things going down tonight. We have Tessa Blanchard here in studio to speak to the audience about her decision to come to the National Wrestling Alliance as well as FTR, the new tag team champions Dax Hardwood and Cash Wheeler making an appearance to speak about their decision to come to the NWA and their big NWA World Tag Team Championship win this past Saturday at the 71st anniversary show and in our main event we have Ziggy Dice taking on Caleb Connolly, the NWA World's Television Championship is on the line. Ziggy Dice defending. And all that and more tonight as we head into the episode of NWA Power. In about that, it's Subpar Wrestling and Little Heat. The Vaude Villains defeated the Bruiserweights in 1329 when Aiden English defeated Corey Hollis with a Whirling Dervish. I believe that's what that says. And the segment gets a 44. Very good match from Gotch and English. John Schuyler performs very well. Corey Hollis was the weakest link, but still performed pretty well. This was a very, very bad match in terms of gimmicks. Aiden English, Corey Hollis, both didn't do well. Schuyler did good, but it's kind of not a great, not a great gimmick one. Um, but it does get the show off to a strong start, gets the crowd hotter, very happy with that. Brought in the VOD villains, I feel like they would fit very well in the NWA style. And we also brought in the Bruiserweights, just because I needed to fill out the tag team division. And now we see a pre-recorded interview with James Storm and Eli Drake. Storm seems very upset with Drake over their tag team title loss and outwardly blames him multiple times in the interview. So just a little bit of dissension going there between James Storm and Eli Drake. Angle gets the crowd hotter, gets a 61. Happy with that one. And then in a terrible match, Anna J defeated Sadie Gibbs in 854 by submission. It gets a 26. This just one to get Anna J a little bit more momentum after she lost the title match to Thunder Rosa. She gets a 30. Sadie Gibbs gets a 25. Happy with the way that one turned out at a 26. And at about that, a decent reaction from the crowd, but subpar wrestling the Von Erichs defeated the Wild Cards in 1715 when Marshall Von Erich pinned Royce Isaacs. Marshall Von Erich carries the match, and boy did he carry the match. He's performing way better than Ross. Um, but very happy with this match. The Wild Cards both did pretty well. Gets a 47 for the match as a whole. Mike Kyoto makes his debut for us. I can't believe he didn't actually referee that world title match on Saturday. We should have should have made that one clearer. But apparently, that didn't happen. Um, very happy with this one. 47. The Von Erichs. Love them. Going to be doing a lot with them. Jim Cornette stands up at commentary to introduce the new NWA World Tag Team Champions, FTR. They enter the arena and walk to the interview area where they're joined by Jim Cornette and Renee Young. And Renee Young says, All right, the world has been dying to know, Jim Cornette. How did you get FTR to join the NWA roster? And Cornette says, It was quite easy, Renee. Simply put, FTR are the greatest tag team on the planet, and they want to prove just that. So they came to the NWA. This is where the men of wrestling compete. Not the skinny little boys flipping around the ring. The battle-hardened men fighting to assert their dominance. And that's what FTR is here to do, assert their dominance. And if you look at those titles around their waist, I would argue they've done just that so far. Ray Young says, FTR... Why did you choose Jim Cornette to bring you in as a manager? And Dax Hardwood takes the mic and says, Because just like we're the best tag team in the world, Jim Cornette is the best manager in the world. What other manager would have gotten us a title match on our first night in the company, Renee? What manager? And Cash Wheeler chimes in and says, None. That's why Jim Cornette is the best, and that's why Jim Cornette is our manager. And it gets a 57 for the segment. Very, very happy with that one. Cash Wheeler, Dax Hardwood, FTR with their new manager, Jim Cornette. In a decent match, Tessa Blanchard defeated Isla Dawn in 914 by pinfall with a pile driver. It gets a 50. Blanchard performs to the tune of a 54. Isla Dawn gets a 27. And after the match, Tessa Blanchard steps down in the interview area with Renee Young. And Young says, Tessa, I have to ask you the question everyone wants to know. What brought you to the NWA? And Blanchard says, Well, Renee Young, my family has a rich history in the NWA. My father, Tully Blanchard, my stepdad, Magnum TA, and now here I am to forge my own legacy in the NWA. It's been known for decades that the NWA provides the greatest competition in all 
of professional wrestling. To some, that kind of pressure may be insurmountable. But you see, Renee, diamonds are formed under pressure. And I am the diamond, Tessa Blanchard. And pressure only makes me more perfect. 62, Tessa does a great job there. Very happy with that. And she is now going to be one of the pillars of the women's division in NWA. Very happy. In a decent match, Zicky Dice defeated Caleb Connolly in 14-13 by submission. Zicky Dice makes defense number two of the NWA World Television title. This gets a 47-42 from Dice and a 39 from Connolly. So not the best match we could have ended on. I really wanted to end on the Von Erichs tag team match because I knew that would be good. But I feel like having the title match main event is something that you just kind of have to do logically in a wrestling company. And so we're still happy with this. Nick Aldis enters the studio and walks to the interview area. And Renee Young has her microphone, and she says, Nick Aldis, congratulations on defeating Marty Skrull last night at the NWA 71st anniversary show. It must feel good to know there is one less person gunning for that title. And Aldis says, ah, an astute observation, Renee. That's why I like having you here. It's a great feeling indeed to hold this NWA World's Championship. And to hold this NWA World's Heavyweight Championship, you need to exemplify excellence. And that is something... The Marty Skrull just does not do. But that brings me to an awkward point, Renee. As the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship Champion, I also need to surround myself with excellence. And the wild cards have not shown me excellence since the formation of Strictly Business. They just challenged for the NWA Tag Team Championships the night before. Our group was formed. But since then, what have they done of note, Renee? What have they done? I need to hold those around me to a higher standard. The Wild Cards, you'll have a tag team match next week against one of the best tag teams I can find. And if you win, you will remain by my side. But if you lose, you will no longer be in the World's Championship Entourage. Nick Aldis does a masterful job improvising and interacting with the crowd. 67 for that one. Very, very happy with that. Happy with the entire show as a whole. I'm loving this series so much. What do I think this episode got? Well, the main event wasn't super strong, but we had a lot of great segments, and we had a lot of really good matches. So I'm going to say that overall this episode gets a 53, maybe a 54, and 51. Okay, we were close. We were close. It still increases our popularity in 18 regions. It's still going to be a very good show for the size company that we are. Now, let's see how the viewership was. All right, so that was the 22nd episode of NWA Power held in the center stage studio. It was a 51 show rating in front of 204 people, and it gets 12,072 viewers on YouTube. Obviously, not what we're hoping for, but uh I can see that increasing quite a bit as the weeks go on, and we keep putting on better and better and better shows. There's a lot of room for growth in this series, and that really excites me. So I'm very happy with this. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in Episode 3, and uh, yeah, have a great day.